The decision for epilepsy surgery is individualized. It needs to uh, take into account and individualize to each of the patient's uh, pre-surgical evaluations. It is not the last resort. Um, you do not have to try all the different combinations first. Uh, for those children whose seizures start early, we can significantly impact their seizure outcome as well as neurodevelopment if uh, surgery is appropriate. In general, there, there's a diverse uh, cause for epilepsy that begins in childhood. In uh, adult patients um, with focal epilepsy, the most common cause or the most common seizure type is temporal lobe seizures. In uh, children, the most common cause that are eligible for epilepsy surgery is due to malformations of cortical development. So these are congenital malformations. Some of them could be very subtle and difficult to detect on uh, anatomic MRI. These, are, uh, they could be, these could be very focal, called focal cortical dysplasias, or they could be very uh, diffuse or big, involving an entire hemisphere. The other difference in uh, children is that the uh, children's epilepsy may present very differently. Some kids may present with epileptic spasms where the EEG does not show a very nice focus, but rather a more regional abnormality, or there's no uh, way to see where the seizure focus is coming from, even though the, the other uh, imaging modalities may suggest that there is a single focus that may be amenable for surgery. For epilepsy surgery, depending on the type of surgery, there are different eligibilities. In general, when we are talking about focal resective surgery, the goal is to identify a, a single seizure focus where the seizures are generating from. And the goal is to be able to identify where that is. The hope is that the identified uh, focus where the seizures are coming from does not overlap those uh, eloquent areas. Now there are other types of surgery um, that uh, patients who have other seizure types that are more generalized, for example drop seizure in lennox gastaut uh, syndrome, and those patients there are other another surgery called corpus callosotomy that could be very helpful for reducing drop seizures. In children who have more of a diffuse or hemispheric abnormality, you can do surgery called hemispherotomy or disconnection surgery to uh, disconnect a major area of the brain that could be generating uh, seizures. I, th I think um, it, it is always very important that I set the stage to acknowledge the parents' fears. It's a big deal to talk about brain surgery. I want to emphasize that uh, surgery is, is not the last option uh, for kids who start having seizures, particularly in those kids who have an MRI abnormality or those kids who start having seizures at less than three years of age. We can have great impact on the uh, immediate control of uh, seizures if epilepsy surgery is an appropriate option. We can have a significant impact on neurodevelopment um, in those patients where seizures can be much better controlled. In families who are or parents dealing with a child with epilepsy, there's, uh, there's always this inherent uh, fear of the unpredictability of when the seizures are going to come. Um, we, we take for granted things that we do every day. So even walking that down the street or, or going to the mall uh, can be a constant reminder that maybe that's not something the child can do. Uh, I have a child uh, that I've been following for the last five or six years who started having seizures when she was about uh, a year old. Her seizures are uh, started with drop seizures, but as she gets older, there's this constant fear that she's going to drop, not uh, able to uh, or, or uh, injure herself, uh, have a face plant even at the uh, at dinner on the dining room table. So constant fears like that is, is uh, happening all the time. And so with a surgery, she actually had corpus callosotomy. She has not had any seizures since. And um, simple things like going to, to shopping um, that we take for granted, she's now able to do. She can uh, walk um, to my clinic without being in a wheelchair and these are or um, little things that impact significantly.